What is up, everyone? You! Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Looks like they might be spraying actually some chemtrails out here today. That's what it looks like, boys. I don't know if you guys can see, but that line right there looks suspicious, boys. But um, it's a beautiful, brisk day out here. Literally, like, one of the most luscious days we've had. Recently, it's sunny. Good temperature and just a little windy. But um, I forgot the key to open the car, but I gotta unload a few things and then we're gonna go to the scrap yard. But first I gotta go feed, give my mom's one cat medicine, who's actually my favorite cat. And then we're gonna go to Ocean City and then try and load up some scrap from there and then take it over to the scrap yard. Alright, so this is what we got. We got this container for the flea market tree. We got a couple of tools in here from Harbor Freight that are, these are keep life for me and the rest are for, for selling or for scrap. We got all that which is scrap and this cord which if it has, this is just scrap, this piece, but if this has wire in it, I'm gonna take that out and pull it out. This safe, which I guess is just scrap at this point. And then I got this whole keep life bag of screws. That's all keep life. And then my keys obviously. And these two sweatshirts are gonna go just inside. And I actually locked my, this is for a hat. I actually locked my car's keys in here last night. Didn't film any of it because the camera was in the car. But I ended up getting it out with these. Well, this piece and this piece. I pried the door with this and hit the unlock button with this. But those are just trash now. All right, this is what we're working with right now for scrap. That pile we found yesterday, plus a couple more pieces over there. Those two bins in the back are just light iron. That's a piece of aluminum next to them. Uh, we got some clean aluminum in this one. These are dirty aluminum, and they go with that other piece of dirty aluminum. We got some aluminum wire, that black wire right there. Household wire here. Uh, one motor under here. You guys can see it some cans, aluminum cans, and then a little box bucket of just dirty copper. And then I'm gonna put a washer and a stove and then one other item in here. And we're gonna go to the scrap yard. It's not a huge load, but the dream has to continue somehow. For the boys. Oh, shit. <laughs> Were you gonna drive off with these open? Probably. What's your claim, plantless one? I need coffee. I don't know if that's it. No scarf claims or anything? You claimed the scarf yesterday. <laughs> Alright, here we are at the shop in Ocean City. Um, for the rest of the load, this is what we got. This stove. Red Bull fridge. <laughs> Both scrap. And then we got in here we got so far we got this piece this is this is keep life this piece works fine except it's just all ripped apart and shit in the back so like i'm just gonna scrap this piece i did use it for like a month it came from a house but scrap life it is boys scrap life it is or do, you gotta, or do we got to take it out of here in pieces? Well, actually, it is coming in pieces, actually. We have been trying. Through there, though. 
just going to take it through the front. Do you need me to film this? No. back up the truck all the way up when I put pan out the other piece another beautiful day in paradise boys it's living the scrap life all right so this piece here had a nice motor on it and I didn't want to just let it go to the birds so I beat the shit out of it with a sledgehammer until it broke well it didn't fully break I can put it back in there but I'm still determined to get this piece off of here so I'm gonna cut those wires and then allow the dream to continue. So we got this piece, got these babies. We're almost done here, we're almost ready to roll to this yard. But uh, just a few more things to do. There's that piece, so that's like a dollar or more extra. All right, rolling out to the scrapyard now. Um, it took a little bit of time, more than I thought, but I'm working on cleaning up the shop over there in Ocean City so that my dad can do the next step of what he wants to do with it. I'm not sure what that's gonna be, but if I do a little bit here and there, it'll be a lot easier to deal with everything in there than it will be all at once, so. All this stuff's going to the scrapyard and a couple pieces of wood for the house and I put a pick in here that I can put over at my house. So, Whew. What's the scrap dream looking like today? No. No. <laughs> All right, pulling into the heavy scrap life right now. Looking like a good day for scrapping, boys. This guy's about the conscious school bus right here, boys. No, just tearing it to shreds like it's a toy. Two or three dollars at the flea market. We'll see. Got the tar roof later. And look at this piece. Pretty much exactly what we needed. You always got to make something out of nothing if you can. Because you pay yourself an opportunity like that, someone else will take it. Smart. Someone smart will take it. So are you saying you're smart? No, I'm saying I seize the moment to actually, to, to make money when I don't, because I don't want to have to deal with anyone else, so I'll pretty much do anything. Well, I'm make saying you're job. smart, Bubba. All right, what are we looking at? You want me to read all of this? Yeah, please, just do it quick. Aluminum cable, two pounds. So that's 20 cents. A pound? Mm -hmm. Just okay. read the price of per pound and the, the object. You don't have to read how much it was. 
What? Ready. <laughs> An aluminum cable, 20 cents a pound. Okay. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Sheet aluminum, 30 cents a pound. Aluminum cans, 30 cents a pound. Electric motors, 10 cents a pound. Aluminum breakage, 8 cents a pound. Irony refining, 80 cents a pound. Household extension cable, 55 cents a pound. So that's $14. And then how much is the light iron? All the light iron was Six dollars. Six twenty-five. It says. Yeah, six twenty-five a pound. No, it's six six cents a pound, pretty much. What? Six dollars and twenty-five cents every hundred pounds. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. It's twenty-nine dollars. <laughs> 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 this is my day. All right, we're out here at uh, my boy John's house, who we do some work for. Uh, we tarred his roof, and he said he would like another coat because there's still a little trickle that comes through. I mean, I don't know what to tell him. I would probably bite the bullet if I was him and just get a wind and uh, weather and snow or whatever it's called shield, which is like a fat piece of tar that you just put on the whole top but I don't know he would probably save money if he did it himself but if he paid for that and paid us to do it he would spend double probably what he's gonna spend today so either way we're gonna tar this roof what I forgot the chat sticky. your chat be sticky didn't we go back to get it yeah, this broken. let me see you chap them lips dog <laughs> Hey, look what we got going here. This is looking like a nice find right here, boys. Golf bag score. Taking the whole one. This is trash, right? Alright, so we're actually supposed to put tar on the skylight of his other house. So now we got the tar from his Summers Point house and now we're in Linwood. I thought that he was talking about his Summers Point house, but either way, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, about to go do it now. So, there's a skylight up there in between those two trees that keeps leaking. Um, so, I'm going to take this bucket of tar and just, you know, go around the top of it as much as I can. Probably just with a little brush, to be honest. See how that works. I don't know, boys. We'll see. See Daisy, boys. Here we are on the roof. It's a long way down from here. Sweep off this area here. Politicians, some call that anarchism. I call it having a fucking heart that beats. I do believe in freedom. All right, so this is what we got going on here. I did a, a circ uh, around the whole skylight and this part where the roof was on, kind of soaking in like a sponge. And I was walking on it. I just did that whole square too. So this is kind of overkill, but uh, hopefully it works. If not, I think he needs a real roofer up here. This dumpster looks somewhat promising. So I'm gonna take a gander. Damn, that thing's cool. Oh shit, that scrap piece right there and a weather me. Wow.
This find right here, though, is for the tree. Whoa. This is the keep life for sure. This is scrap. Keep life gas, gas can. And I want that weather main. So I just went in this dumpster and found all of this. Trash picking by accident turned into like $50 worth of scrap and flea market stuff. There's probably like thousands of dollars worth of cool shit in here that I can't even get to. But, I mean, I scored a lot of shit already. Can't really complain. But like, there's just acres of diamonds in here, boys. Where's he at? Let me check this shit out. This is just aluminum and a pocket knife. All right, we're about to go to the Salvation Army. What are you? What are you claiming? to the Salvation Army here and I was clearly not going to buy anything because I usually never did but you can't turn down this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dream. And it smells in this hallway so we're leaving. But look how nice this thing is. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> short. I'll give it to you. But, hashtag made it. The pockets are small though, why? And they have like that shit in them. <laughs> the match. <laughs> so they put in a new thrift store here that we never knew about. What were we thinking? Sleeping on it, huh? Scrooge. You too. Classic old trains. Another Og brand. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So they're like warm sneakers. No winter. Eat, eat. Barbie life. You know, they're starting with transgender Barbies. No, I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, it looks like you. This looks like me? Yeah. <laughs> All soldiers. They got a lot of cool stuff in here. More like an antique shop in here than this than a thrift sale. But they got a mixture of a ton of different stuff to be honest.
all the box of dog crates. So this thing spins this around so you can carve it out and make furniture with it. Wood lathe. Wow. What's this model? Oh, it's a KitchenAid dishwasher, but I'm really... Which kind of? I don't know, but I'm really confused. Oh, okay, it is. KitchenAid. It's a KitchenAid dishwasher. I don't know what model it is. Well, I don't know the model. <laughs> we must have figured it out though. We ordered. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, this is the number for the wheel, but I don't know. All right, so what here's model? what we got going on here. KitchenAid <laughs> top loading dishwasher, I call it. And these pieces right here slide in and out, and they have this little piece that goes in here to hold the top rack on. So to get this off of here, because these things broke. This thing cracked out of this. And for eight months, we've been carefully placing these back in here and sliding the door in. And it's been falling off the racks multiple times a day. How did it break off? I don't know. Wear and tear? Probably wear and tear. Or me going away and somebody just getting crazy with the dishwasher. So this piece with that whole broken piece off usually sits in here and then the other one sits back here and holds the rack on so to get this thing off we had to squeeze this piece with the pliers pull it up and then it releases I'm gonna put it back in to see if it actually works again yeah it's working again and this little booty here only costs eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars each. Eighteen dollars each. And you think that's a good deal? No. Uh -huh. But this costs eighteen dollars each piece. So how I much was the dishwasher? To buy? Yeah. I don't know. Probably five fifty. Five hundred? Holy Maybe shit. Maybe six. No wonder people like used appliances. Well, it's eleven years old already. Here, hold this right here. Just like this, as is. All right. So to pull this up, we have to press sure this thing down there, right? and pull it up from the bottom. And it's kind of like a swooping, brutal motion of that. I'm sure this is on there, right? It's on there, right? And then you have to get a little piece of scissor. Is what I used to pull it the rest of the way up, and that brings this piece out. And this piece is going to break next. Well, Look. no, it oh, won't. Oh, yeah, let's go. It'll hold it on there, for sure. Alright, so what's the claim here? Five five racks over, right? Hi, it's Steve from Parts of Life. Let's see, Steve. Are you sure? So one, how many two, that's I... only three. One, no, two, three. one, two, three, four, and then it goes in that one. You sure? That's what I'm claiming. Alright. So we're looking at the same exact top rack get, on like eBay, and there's five yeah, full spaces in between. How did I just do Here, that? Here, stop. I, can you fix it? Oh. <laughs> so one, two, hold on. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes in this one. So that's it. it clicks in like that. Get the other one behind your turn. What's the? Let me see the part number on here in case they have to replace. Is that it right there? Mm -hmm. I mean, no one watching is going to actually do this, but it's Whirlpool Corporation, but it's a KitchenAid dishwasher. So are they the same company? That's what I don't get. So it goes. On. So, how so how'd you do it? You went. I don't know how I did it. No, I put this oh, inside like this? first. I somehow maneuvered it inside first. I don't know how I did it. Uh, like this. How did I do it? Hold on, like this. Mm -hmm. And then, is that how you do it? That's it. That's the big. Exactly that's the big hors d'oeuvre. Yeah. Ordeal. That's exactly how the other one is. I guess. Right here. 
big moment. It is. The big kahuni. You gotta push that in a little bit. She's a little, a little fat. So push all the way back and then we'll put the clips in. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, there's two more that go in there. Oh, the other ones in the back aren't broken, they'll probably just break next. Where's the other clip? Long cushion. And that's it. Is that good? That's what you're claiming, right? I guess so. So what do you have to say about that? Oh, that's a miracle. It's like living in luxury. <laughs> After like eight or nine months of that, luxury, pure luxury. Thank you, Turner. <laughs> what? How's that smell? Alright, so I was out working on a job in Linwood and I came across a dumpster over there. I showed you guys a little bit of what I got, but I just wanted to show the full magnitude of how glorious that dumpster was. So we got a weather vane. This is the top, this is the bottom. It goes on there perfectly like that. So, keep life to that item. Obviously, that thing's sick. A little toy airplane thing. Model airplane. I guess you would like paint this or something. Um, it's for like, I guess, it's either from an airline or it's for like one of those sets or a toy somehow. I'm not really sure. The corn, uh, Wagner Ware, made in the USA. That's cast iron pot for cornbread. This little pot, which is cool, says made in the USA too. I don't know if that's true. I got a whole bag of Mardi Gras beads, which are really cool. Mostly they're the purple ones. These purple ones say Mardi Gras. Say bag hus. 1968, 1984 on the back. Um, and then there's just a whole bunch of other Mardi Gras um, coins. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that. Rivers of the World coins. Very cool. So there's a whole bunch of those cool things. Um, and they're metal, which is cool. metal coins and then this two pieces of scrap right here not very exciting an old car radio that i don't think it's sellable might be i don't know and then over here i put some stash of other stuff next to the trailer here so wheelbarrow old school one that might turn into scrap if no one buys it uh, this scrap chair an old an old gas can which is probably worth a few dollars at the flea market because it's really cool and then we got this little red trike which I know from experience that they sell pretty good because a lot of people are interested in the ones that I've sold before no seat but I think it's a ten dollar item so we did pretty well today just let, looking in the trash that's the claim anyway all right, we're back here at the house, ready to go to sleep, and Lolo's just hanging out on his pillow right here. Right, boy? He loves him cute as ever. But, uh, yeah, we killed it today. Uh, got some work done. Got some scrapping done. And came up on some acres of diamonds by accident in a dumpster. Found some other stuff in the trash. Fixed my mom's uh, dishwasher, which was just an extra piece of the dream. And, you know, tomorrow's another day. The dream continues uh, two days from Thanksgiving. And I'm just going to be filming throughout the holidays, making videos, all kinds of different stuff. So just stay tuned. If you guys like what we put out and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, just past 8,000 subscribers 
about a week ago and we already got 400 more which is amazing uh, I never thought that I would be towards it 10,000 and then beyond but uh people seem to like what I've been putting out and it's just my real life I don't really sugarcoat that much at all that's just raw footage of what I do throughout the day and I guess that's what people want to watch it's just reality because everything on TV is just even reality TV is just completely fake so like people want to see the raw real shit I guess I mean that's what I like to watch too to be honest but um there's acres of diamonds out there everywhere you look like you can come up on you know acres of diamonds anywhere you go we came up on a, a stash of shit today without even trying so just keep your eyes peeled and keep living the dream keep pushing everyone out there who's scrapping uh thrift and flea market everything the same stuff i do i know a lot of you guys do the same things but my only advice is just keep pushing and perseverance will get you to where you need to be um, if you have a dream and you have dedication then nothing can stop you but uh i'm out of here for the night i'll see you guys in the morning for some more claims and the dream continues you what's the claim sammy j good night or good morning <laughs> <laughs>